So, Mac, before I jump it back to Jeff, you have this situation here where Ed Cooley is the coach of Providence, has been there for well over a decade, has had success, has been an NCAA tournament coach. He basically is God in Providence. And the rumor mill is firing up daily, hourly, that Georgetown is targeting him to be their next head coach. He's among fan, those fan of, fan of thinks he's going, Mac. I'm, I'm, I'm going to spill the beans. Fan of thinks he's going. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. All right, all I, right. I don't want to put I, words in your mouth, but. I didn't say that. You think that. there's a I, good shot. You think there's a good shot. I th- I would say um that that there's a there's a chance. Okay. More more of a chance than there's ever been. All right. Yeah. Mac Mac, what do you make of this? Tough timing. I think that uh listen, I think both of them are really good jobs. I, I think that I think that Ed has made Providence a better job than maybe it once was. I think he's done a, a tremendous job. I think that the Again, I don't even know what the name of the arena is because we always call it the dunk. Let's call it the dunk. Yeah, the, the, he's got it rocking. I'm going to tell you, it's going to be really hard to get Verizon Center or if they've changed the name to that, rocking. You know, even even when we were there in the very beginning of Xavier's tenure in the Big East, Georgetown wasn't auto porter good, but they were they were pretty good still. They were NCAA tournament team with Lubick last year and, and Vontae Smith-Rivera. They got no students, and there was no atmosphere. And maybe that's it's not been like that when they really had it going on, but I think it's a little bit more difficult than maybe people think. Um, I think Ed would do wonders at, at, at Georgetown, but I also think that, as you said, he's got a lot going on at Providence and is doing a tremendous job. So uh, I'm not going to predict. I don't have any insider information. Um, I Here's don't what think I'll it, say I don't it. think it's here and here in terms of the jobs. Like I think it's closer. So, yeah, it's closer. Yeah, I, I think that you right. sort of right. put it off, or a lot of people put it off of like, oh, Georgetown's is such you know such a better opportunity. And I, I'm not so. If on you that. were take wait wait wait. All right, here here's the way to to if you had to choose. Between I don't have to Georgetown choose. We just, the of which job are you we, just we just addressed that. I don't have to choose. <laughs> but if you had to right Good now, job, Mac. Which job would you take? Hey, guys, just a reminder, our sponsor for today's episode is Run Your Pool. They are hosting the Field of 68 Bracket Challenge. This year, they are giving away $1,500 in free prizes. It's all an incentive for you to get on there and find out just how good their platform is. I've been using them for my bracket pools for years. I've used them for Super Bowl squares. I use them for everything that I need to use them for. The biggest survivor pool that I'm in for both NFL and NCAA tournament is by Run Your Pool. So go check them out. The link's below. Tap in. Well, first of all, it's not a matter of taking because, you know, Ed's got equity in a place. No, I'm I'm asking you, all things being equal, which job would you take if they were equal and both were thrown your way? You would take Georgetown, would you not? <laughs> I'd take both of them, you know, and coach them on weekends. No, anyway. I, all right. I just don't think that's a fair cool. question because Ed's got so much equity in the place yes. that he's at. Uh, I think that, you know, you, you don't mess with happiness sometimes. Um, I agree. You know? I'm he's not going to learn that the hard way. He's but, getting you know, paid more happens. than $4 million a year, Chris. He's What's getting that? more than $4 million a year at Providence. So Georgetown, I'm told, can offer about $5 million. It's not Providence the money. Is, it, it, get him. It, it, it's honestly not the money. Ed's making, right. made enough. He's going to keep making enough. That, yeah. that, that, that's, that's not the issue. It's where, where can I go to try to win a national championship? Um, that, that's, at least that's the thinking that I, I think that he would have. I could be wrong. Here's what Ed wants more than anything. Here, here's what Ed Cooley needs more than anything. NIL. To be liked. Ed Cooley cannot be hated by the city that he grew up in. That's what I would say is Ed Cooley may look at Georgetown, may talk to Georgetown, may go deep into negotiations with Georgetown. At the final 11th hour, Ed Cooley is not going to be able to leave for Georgetown. Could he leave for Michigan? Could he leave for UCLA or something? Yes, he is not going to be able to leave interleague for Georgetown. Fair. Yeah, and I and I don't dispute that at all. I, I I tend to agree. Look, here's the thing. 
He has done anything and everything in Providence. He is revered there. He is a saint. They have a statue ready to go. If you make a move and you do it within your league. They throw the statue that, away. That, that statue yeah. is That's not right. happening. Yeah. That statue is not happening. I mean, it's just not. Let's call a spade a spade. If you made this move, and I say if you made this move, your mindset is that you can win a national championship, and your mindset at this particular stop is that you can be the savior of two traditional brand programs in college basketball, but more than anything, you could be responsible. You could be the most loved Georgetown coach since Big John Thompson. That's what you're thinking of. 